welcome to all of you. I'm so glad that you could join me again today. And for those who are new, a big welcome to you. And um, I hope you're all doing really well. And thank you guys. I've been reading all of your comments below. I love each and every one of you. I really appreciate your presence here, guys. And we're all in this together, guys, with this, um, you know, the love journey, the twin flame journey, those who are trying to um, understand what's going on with their divine counterpart and how we can navigate through this particular um, time, you know, and journey that we're on with this. Um, normally I would do these um, readings, this particular video, the Divine Confessions of a Broken Heart, from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine, but I've been advised or I felt um, that I'm guided to branch it out more, expand it out to everybody that's watching today. So if you're a masculine or a feminine watching, this will be from your person. This may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does, guys, or come back another time. I always say that my readings are very specific and they may not resonate with everybody. Um, if a pile doesn't resonate, you can always choose another or, as I said, come back another time. Um, also, thanks for those leaving recent donations. I am so... Like I'm so grateful, seriously, guys. You've got no idea what it means to me. And um, I've just received a lovely lady, Carol. Um, she'll know who she is, <laughs> um, who's offered to give me healing sessions, which is just absolutely beautiful and so appreciated. So thank you so much, Carol. If you're listening, I am just so blessed by you and the other people here as well but even just having your presence here guys means so much to me as well now I'm burning this beautiful sage and I'm trying not to get high on it because <laughs> it's like oh my god it's burning so much here oh my god I'm not used to doing this but oh my god it's so beautiful though okay cleansing the space all right that's all right it's all cleansed now can we turn it off all right let's do it so um, yeah, I'm going to get started. just want to make sure this is burnt out now. <laughs> God, I feel like I've got to cough and, and uh, clear the space. Okay, just let me have a water, guys, and I'll get started. Mm. Okay, <clears throat> I notice that when I start these readings, I start off really calm, and then as soon as I press the um, on button for the camera, it's like, all this energy just wants to gush out and I get so excited and want to talk and then I'm tripping over my words and I'm out of breath. <laughs> so I've got to calm down a bit. So guys, we have three readings and um, you can choose between reading number one, which is the Universal Celtic Tarot, reading two, which is the Light Seers Tarot, or reading three, which is the Crystal Visions Tarot. I'll give you a moment to focus on the cards. Hi lovelies, welcome. If you chose reading number one, which is a beautiful Celtic tarot, the, the universal Celtic tarot. I got these in the mail the other day and I'm just in love with their illustrations and just the way they feel. Let's have a look first up at what's going on with your person, okay? What are they feeling within themselves in their heart space right now? What's going on? We are looking at the broken heart. So confessions of a broken heart. Divine Confessions of a Broken Heart. I've actually got a deck of cards that I've created actually called that. Uh, if anyone would like to check it out, you can below. The link's below. Or you'll be able to see me use them in the reading anyway. So here we go. Let's have a look first up at what energy is your person currently sitting in right now, please. Spirit, for reading number one, what energy are they currently sitting in? We've got the Three of Swords, guys. This is the broken heart. This is the uh, heartbreak right here. Okay, I feel like I've got to pick another one, do I? All right. And the nine of swords. Oh, my goodness, guys. 
Oh, heavy energy. Your person's really stressing out. They're anxious. They're worried about this connection. They're sitting in pain. There's mental conflict and torture going on, like mental torment, basically. Um, and the need to purge and release this um, is not happening at the moment for them because they're ruminating on the situation. It's uh, keeping them up at night. They're not sleeping. They're thinking about this constantly. It's heavy on their heart. What am I drawn to, spirit? Okay, we're going to use... <clears throat> well, I didn't even shuffle, but that came out right on there. Phoenix rising. Wow, Phoenix rising. This is positive because this shows me that someone has to crash and burn, basically, like crumble, you know, fall to the ground before they can go through a kind of like a transformation. They have to go through this pain. They have to be able to purge it. Um, to be able to transform and then rise like the phoenix again. It's that cleansing. It's the cleansing time right now for this person. So they could actually be starting to do that. Let's have a look at what they want to say to you in this space. Okay, in this space. What do they want to say to you in this space? Reading number one's person. There is nothing else to say. So they're at the moment, they're closed off, they're in pain. They are withdrawing because the Nine of Swords is solitude. It's someone who's withdrawing into their own pain. Um, they feel like there's nothing else to say, but it could be their shadow side talking. What are they coming out from? What are they coming from? Oh my goodness, guys, this is weird. I'm not even shuffling. They're drained. They're, in, they're drained. They're feeling physically and mentally drained. There's uh, a destructive energy going on and they're entangled in their thoughts and it's not clear for them and they might be still entangled, well, in the pain, obviously, but in destructive behavior. Um, they're definitely not in a good place right now. What does their shadow side want to say? Because we've got to understand when they're, from, when they're going through pain, they're not going to be necessarily coming through with all positive, lovey-dovey kind of messages. So it might trigger you some of these messages, but remember that it is coming from a place where they're in pain. It feels so cold in my heart when we are apart. Now, when you look at this, this is the, this is the swords, it's the air energy uh, the air element, and there's no water in this. There's not like not really um, that warm, nurturing kind of energy coming through with the spirit of the wands either. So there's kind of like a cold place they're lying in right now. We can see the snow here, which is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so they're feeling quite alone. They're feeling it's cold. They're cold. It's a little bit like a numb feeling going on for them right now, but they've got the opportunity to rise like a phoenix if they choose to, you know, if they choose to go through that purging and releasing that they need to do. I want to see what else they have to say. Okay. Um, space. I need to take a step back because I still, I am still trying to figure out what I want. And jealousy, I feel like you've moved on without me and that's difficult for me to see. Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on in this person's mind. They might be up late at night thinking, of, like constantly thinking, have you moved on? Is there a third party situation? Have you chosen someone else? There might be so much in their mind and worrying about things that aren't even happening. That's, that's the kind of energy I'm getting with this right now. <clears throat> okay, so what else am I to look at, spirit? So we're going to look at how are they actually feeling about you. So that's the energy they're sitting in. But how are they actually feeling for you right now? King of Pentacles, King of Abundance, I call him. Very financially secure, very, very secure and stable. I just want to see what this is about. This is probably your energy they're looking at here, but it could be a strong... Love that they hold for you. Justice. Interesting. We've got the justice, which is um, fairness, equality, harmony, balance. Um, the sword of truth. She carries the sword of truth. We'll have a look at that in a moment. And we've got the three of pentacles. Okay. All right, what do we got here? So we got the three of pentacles as teamwork, wanting to make something fair and right. I, f I keep feeling like this person 
wants to make things right. They want to be strong like this king of pentacles for you, whether it's a female or a male you're talking about. It's just the energy here we're talking about. Um, people usually call this call this one a Taurus. I've always seen it as a Capricorn as well, but he's a Taurus and we've got the Libra here for the justice. Um, so they definitely want to have stability with you. They want to have something that's fair. They want truth to come out in a situation that maybe it's all very confused at the moment. There's confusion in that. Maybe they're not seeing clearly or just that have, truth has not been brought to the surface just yet. Um, but they want to work with you on this. They actually do want to start afresh, it seems like here. So they're kind of like kicking themselves that they aren't in a strong position right now or have that clarity to come forward to you and make it fair um, to bring you that truth. Perhaps they're the ones that might be withholding it at this stage from you. I mean, we are looking into their you know, a confession of the heart. So it's like they're hi hiding and holding back what they truly feel perhaps for you, which is this strong energy right here. Uh, what do we got here? Let's have a look. So what are they feeling for you? We have a corresponding card. Oh my God. The High Lady of Love and Compassion, Reverence, Kindness, Consideration. That's that nurturing spirit. So they miss this within you. They That's why they feel like they're in such a cold place right now. It's almost like you might have withdrawn this love and compassion for them. Um, and as I said, whether you're a female or male, doesn't matter. I always look at these as energies when I'm doing an open reading like this, where you could be a masculine or a feminine watching. This person's feeling like they're in a cold place. They miss your love and compassion and warmth. Um, <clears throat> they, they wish to be in a place that they, they wish they could have given this to you as well. That's what I'm saying there. What do they want to say about it? What do they want to say about how they're feeling? <clears throat> I appreciate all you've done for me. See, that's that token of um, appreciation right here. Really, they do in their time of despair is the word I'm getting um, they look at you and, and they're putting you up on a pedestal and they look at you as someone who really was there and strong for them wow that flew on the floor hang on uh, what does it say it says I did it for you okay guys you're going to know what that means I did it for you did they withdraw for you? Did they take a different approach to something? We've got joyous fun. This is something else that they really miss with miss doing with you, like having with you, I should say, being with you, going to places. Uh, you might have even gone to a fair or a carnival. Um, together at some stage but they they're really reminiscing on this is what they're thinking about all the fun that they could be having with you um, maybe they feel like they had to withdraw so they wouldn't take away your joy and your fun and your you know your fun spirit because they're not in a good place right now okay so what do they want to say around that please no, no I don't want that one I want this one <sighs> The divine confessions of a broken heart. What do they what do they want to say to you? So they want to say, My heart needs closure. I need to know why. They're really confused, as I said, um, stressing out about this connection, wondering why things happened the way they did. Why couldn't it be back to what it was in the beginning? It's almost like they've made a mistake. Um, they've withdrawn. They're feeling really pained and feeling like their heart needs closure. They've got all these question marks going on. Oh, gosh. Where is it? There. Embarrassed. I know I've acted childishly. I don't know how to approach you now. Oh, goodness me. This makes so much sense with that joyous fun too because we can see kids there as well. So it, it can be very childish behavior and they feel like they've had to withdraw maybe they maybe they reacted or acted out in a way that was quite childish um, and you know how when 
you have a disagreement or there's an argument, it triggers childhood wounds and both people or one person can revert back to that child in the way that they react or behave. And so this person's really embarrassed because they've possibly said or did something that's made them really uh, regret that now. And it's embarrassing. Okay, so what do they... What was the words I was going to say? What was it I was going to say? So how the current feeling they're in and what they're currently feeling. And I just had to stop for a minute because I had it in my head before and I didn't write it down. Um, there was their current feel, what, what they're currently sitting in, what they're feeling for you and how will they make it right? That's what I'm going to look at right here. How will they make it right? Because we are looking deep within what they want to say. Four of Swords. Okay, all right, what have we got here? We've got the Four of Swords and we've got the Queen of Swords, guys. Now, the Queen of Swords is who I see as the Libra lady like she's a justice she's the lady of justice that's how i see her she's the liberan um she carries the sword of truth we also see her with an um a harp which is really cool uh, we see all the the icicles around her and like they're crystals almost like uh like clear quartz crystals almost um what we see is that she's all about truth and she's all about objectivity being able to pierce through the veil of illusion and so in this space, what they're going to do to make it right is really, we see them in withdrawing into mental rest, um, which we do see at the moment, it's not mental rest, but what they're going to do, it does look like they're going to maybe turn it around where they do use this time and space for the good. Um, it's contemplation. We've got the sun, sun uh, rise in the background here. So it does show me that even though this person might be feeling a bit gloomy and feeling quite down and depressed and anxious and all those things going on, they only need to change their perspective and use this space in, in the um, right way. So they might start writing down things. Um, they might talk to a friend, you know, um, even though it's solitude. I feel like maybe they're withdrawing. They could be, they could um, pick up the phone and talk to a friend, get some counselling. There's some there's something happening in this space where they achieve some truth, and they're able to see clearly now. So that is something they're going to do. Is they're going to take the time to do that, which is just awesome. I think that's really good. Let's see what comes out from that with them. Oh, hang on, there's too many guys. We've got flow. Oh, this is awesome. So they're going to go with the flow. We've got the number 44, which uh, you could be seeing fours, four, four, four. We've got the four of swords here, guys. Four, four, four could be symbolic um, for you as well. Um, yeah. What I see is that this person is going to go with the flow. Instead of blocking the flow um, and shutting themselves completely off, they're going to open their mind um, to how to heal this, how to make it better. And also the four and the four is an eight. And in the tarot, that represents the Leo, the strength card. So someone who's really strong and determined to uh, come into their power in a good way too. So let's see what else they want to say to you. So you are the first person I think of when I wake up and the last person I think of before I fall asleep. Oh, yeah, you surely are like that. You are constantly on their mind and they do think of you in a beautiful way. But in in some like they're conflicted because on one hand, they're feeling love for you and they want you and they might feel a little bit possessive of you and on the other hand, jealous, you know, but on the other hand, they're also yeah feeling jealous and tangled in that and not feeling safe, I guess, within themselves and emotionally strong because they're worried about what you're doing. So we've got, I am sending you signs. Ooh, yeah. This could be, as I said, the 444 is definitely a sign. You might see things in your physical space. It could be... Um, 
It could be anything. It could be their name. You might see it on a number plate. You could see their initials. Uh, you might see something in the clouds. You know, it could be any kind of uh, visual imagery that you do see that reminds you of them. It could even be another person or a car that drives by that looks like theirs. You might hear a song on the radio um, that you shared or that reminds you of them. You might suddenly, um, you know, you might suddenly, like, you might dream of them. It's many ways you could look at it. You've always been enough. They want you to know that. And I'll never forget you. So they really feel like it's over. Like even though they don't want it to be over. Um, yeah, they, they really love you. Let's have a look at one more of these. So how will they make it right, you know? This is what they're going to do is take some time out, which is good. Pressure. I have so much going on in my life and I'm struggling to juggle it all at once. So it's definitely why they need to take that step back, not just from this connection, but from other things around them. They're feeling like they're caving in a bit. So that's why they really need to take this mental respite right now um, and really seek the truth within themselves. And it could be the truth of what's going on in the connection. Maybe they're unaware or ob oblivious to where they might have gone wrong. What's this one? I didn't even see that. I act like I don't care, but I really do. There's more I need to say. Yeah, interesting, because in the beginning they said there's nothing else to say. <laughs> what did they say? Yeah, where is it? There's nothing else to say or something. There is nothing else to say, but there's more I need to say. So in other words, in that space, because we do have this in the current energy they're sitting in right now, in the current energy they're like, there's nothing else to say, it's closed off, it's all doomed. They're in a negative headspace, but then they really do care and there's more they want to say to you. Um, they've just got a lot going on. They're maybe even oblivious to where they might have gone wrong in the connection. They need to go away and really think about it and process it perhaps. What else can we do or give to this um, reading spirit? Oh, what am I doing? So under a spell, so it says, these are a bit hard to read, but it says infatuation may be at play here. When this card comes up, you or someone may be so into someone and under a temporary spell. They feel under your spell right now. That's what's going on. They can't get you off their mind. They're feeling your energy. Um, they possibly are having dreams. Like it's constant, like this feeling of you around them and in their space. They, they, they said you are the first person they think of when they wake up and when they fall asleep. So you are constantly there. Okay. One last card, please, Spirit. Yeah, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So this person definitely knows that they love you. They've got these feelings for you. They can't shake it. They want to fix it. They want to work out a way to come back to this, I feel. Um, but at the same time, they're just, yeah, they're just unsure of what to do. Yeah, they want to see this grow. They definitely want to see this grow. They want this to be a strong connection, flourishing, um, and, you know, they might want to have a family with you. They want this to be a strong, healthy, healthy connection with you. Just want one more message reading now, resting, message cards, I should say. What else do they want to say to you? Oh. What else does pers person ones? Here they are. You are worth fighting for and give me more time. I am not good enough for you yet. Wow, look at that. They do want to fight for you. They're just not in the right place or, you know, mindset for that right now, guys. So that is your reading. I hope it's um, resonated with you. If so, please comment below. Uh, like and subscribe or can, um, choose another pile, guys. And come back next time. I will have more of these um, readings coming along. So I look forward to connecting with you then. Love and blessings. Hi guys, if you chose reading number two, welcome. I'm so glad you could be here. We're going to have a look at what's going on with your person. 
first up we're going to look at their current energy okay guys what is in their heart space for you right now what is in their heart space what divine confession do they want to come forward with and tell you right now today Okay, sometimes I do that. <laughs> okay. Now that's weird. I just got the name Tim. I don't know if that's got anything to do with you guys, but that's really strange. I don't even know a Tim, so it's not for me. Somebody might know a Tim. Okay. Here we go. So reading number two. What person, I mean, what am I saying? What, what, um, got to focus. What current energy spirit is number two's person sitting in? What current energy are they sitting in right now, please? Well, hang on, that did come out. We've got the seven of cups. And the emperor. Emperor is the Aries energy and the Seven of Cups is all about choices. It's about fantasy, illusion. It's seeing through rose-colored glasses, but they're in a strong energy right now. They're in an energy where they feel like um, they're in a position where they can pick and choose um, what they want. So they feel like they're quite strong in their, um, well, maybe in their everyday life they might appear this way, but emotionally they might be feeling... What are they feeling? I want to get more on that. What, what are they actually feeling here? Um, yeah, what's I want to see what's coming through with that. They might be making out that they're okay and that they're really strong on their path and assured. Um, you are so beautiful. Oh, that's so gorgeous. They're, they they are picking you. It's like they're choosing you. They're in this very strong, assured energy, um, and they they want to choose you. That's what this looks like here. They uh, see how he's kind of like looking to the side, whether it be a male or female watching, guys. It doesn't matter. This is just the energy. Um, but this person's looking to the side, kind of off into the distance. They're seeing the bigger picture, but it's like they're keeping an eye on you. Um, they choose you. Being the emperor, they are uh, in a position where they can oversee everything. And this person is very observant and can see all the other options that are available to them, but they choose you. There are no hard feelings. Oh my God, that's gorgeous, that is. There are no hard feelings. So how are they actually feeling for you? Because this is how the energy they're currently sitting in. So they're, they're kind of like sitting back, reflecting on you and this connection and maybe even looking through photographs or your social media or whatever it might be. They might be um, looking into, well, they're, they're fantasizing about you. That's what the Seven of Cups is all about, fantasizing. Fantasies, they're daydreaming about you. So how they're feeling, what's this? The five of swords reversed is good. Uh, what do we got? And the eight of cups. Let's get those back. There's too many. And we got the page of swords. I don't remember if I did these reversed or not now. I can't remember. Um, sometimes I do them, sometimes I don't. But these ones show me that they want to make peace with you they want you both to walk away from well they want they want to put the past behind you you know what I mean like behind the two of you there are no hard feelings even if you were the one to walk away there's no hard feelings they don't want to fight with you they don't want to put energy into that um, it's almost like because the emperor is very wise and he's come into that position where he has planned methodically to get to where he is and he doesn't just rush you know do things very rash um, or hastily or um, rush into things what he does is think about it and oversees everything sees the bigger picture and I think that um, he would rather make peace with you because he can see where it could lead in the future 
I listened to my head instead of my heart. Oh, that is such an emperor thing. Cherish the good, forget the bad. See, this is what this is about. Let's let's move away from the past, the hurt and the hostility and the the um, wanting to win at all costs kind of thing. Let's leave that behind. Um, this was a path we were meant to follow. So I think that your person recognizes that this was all meant to happen um, to teach you both lessons to perhaps make them realize how much they appreciate you. Um, I do feel like you've walked away from this connection. Maybe there was some things that maybe they were ignoring you or weren't fulfilling your needs or weren't um, tapping into their emotional side because the emperor is very non-emotional. He gets things done. Um, he's a creator, a builder. He's, he's mastering his empire kind of thing. Um, and you needed someone who's in touch with you and, and eye to eye, seeing eye to eye with you and really seeing your beauty and your value and your worth, um, whether you're male or female. So this is what it's saying is that you wanted this person to see your worth. You didn't want them just looking at you um, as something that or someone that they had just, you know, um, claimed as a possession type thing, uh, as one of their possessions. You wanted them to really build a, a life with you. Yeah, and I listened to my head instead of my heart. So they were trying to do the right thing. Um, I want to see what's coming up with that, please. Yeah, cycles here. So you guys could could be going through cycles right now. You might be in a cycle where uh, at the moment you just have to have time apart. Maybe there has been this before where it has been a little bit on and off for some of you. It doesn't have to be all of you. Um, but it can represent... A cycle has had to come to a close. This had to come to a close because otherwise you wouldn't be who you are today and they wouldn't be who they are today. We've got the six, which is the nurturing um, aspect here and the healing aspect. And I really feel like, um, like they want closure with this with you. They want it to come full circle um, because they realize like they're strong enough now to make it work. They want to make it work. What is their shadow side saying here? I hate myself right now. So they're really kicking themselves because they really feel like they stuffed up. They weren't paying enough attention to you. Um, they might have been too busy chasing their dreams and their career um, just into themselves and their own physical world and not connecting with you. They might have been very argumentative. The Aries, the Emperor in its shadow side is very argumentative they're in the right kind of thing and that might have been how it was that they had to be in the right they might you might have felt that they kind of just um didn't put the energy or effort into this connection either so the divine confession of a broken heart these are my own cards says, I'm sorry I went MIA. It was never my intention to abandon you. Definitely you felt abandoned by this person. Even if you were together, you felt like they just weren't paying you attention or invested enough. Um, wow, well, hang on. There's too many here, but we'll take these ones. Do you think of me? Because they're fantasizing and thinking about you. Um, I have been escaping into things I shouldn't. Yeah, this person's an escape artist. <laughs> like I feel like they go MIA, MIA. They escape out of the situation. They emotionally withdrew or walked away or slipped away somehow. And it's just like, what the hell, you know? Like, where? Secret admirer. See, this is the thing. They're, they're sitting in the background, kind of like reminiscing, daydreaming, watching you from afar. So it says, she watches him intently as she has many times before. His beauty having her catch her breath. She loves him from afar, unaware that the rest of the world surrounds her. So this is the energy he's currently in. But, uh, you know, female, male, whatever. Um, this is the person. That's what they're doing. He's watching you from afar. They all, all they see in their mind is you now. They don't want anyone else. And even if they are connected in a relationship with someone, they're really, um, you're on their mind. You're in their heart. And they're holding regrets. 
Well, hang on. All right, can we do that again, please? What do they want to say? What does this person want to say to you? Oh, goodness me. <laughs> They've got a lot to say. Far out. There's just too many. Hang on, guys. This one came out, though. Obligations. I want to get away from the burdens I have to deal with, but I'm stuck right now. Sorry if that's blurred. Um, but that is what's going on with this person is that they feel overburdened by maybe they own a business. Maybe they're um, a manager in something or they're just busy with daily life and they just can't deal with it. Maybe it's the emotional burdens at the moment that they have to deal with now. They have to kind of wear their karma with how they've treated you. Yep, and this one, okay. So then we've got, uh, I'll try and get that right. I'm going to come sweep you away. Yeah, this person wants to come in. They're daydreaming about this. I can't be tied down right now. I have too many interests. That's the freedom. So they want the cake and eat it too. They really want you. They want to have a life with you. They want to commit to you, but yet they're committed to other things. And it's kind of like, they want to sweep you away. They want to come in and, and show you that you are beautiful and that, that you are the person they think of. But still, at the same time, they're still trying to... Maybe they are tied down in a relationship right now. They might have other hobbies or things they've got to still fulfill in life and they can't put a lot of attention onto you right now. It might be finances, you know, their career they're trying to deal with. Um, what are they going to do to make this right? Okay, how are they going to make this right for you? How are they going to make this right? So we see the Ten of Wands, which is feeling overburdened, taking on too many responsibilities. Once again, this person's obligated, taking on too much, feeling tied down by these burdens. Perhaps they're not free to come to you. That's what I think this is really saying is that not that they, um, well, they don't want to be tied down by all these burdens. They have too many things to sort out. That's what I think it's mostly saying because this one's showing overburdened. The end of the journey, they're, they're exhausted um, by what's going on with this connection um, as well. Um, but even in their daily life. But it looks like to me what's happening is they are going to come to the end of the cycle. They're going to have to come into some rest. The Four of Cups is someone who sits back in their... Um, kind of bored with life. They have to go within and contemplate. They might be emotionally stuck. And what I see with your person is they're coming out of that. I want to get another card, please. just want to get another card on that, please. What, what, what are they doing to make it right? So we see the Queen of Swords um, reversed, though. This is a Deliberant card. Uh, this is the sort of truth that she carries. I see that she's very wise. Uh, she has repressed pain. Or has suppressed pain, I should say. But she's very strong on her journey. He or she, whether we're talking about a male or female, I just say she because that's in the card. Um, but this person, I feel, wants to bring the truth out in this situation. They want to emerge from this place of being um, non-moving. Like there's no action towards you. It's kind of like they just withdrew and maybe you didn't get any texts or answers from them and now they want to come out from this place and make it right i just want to see what they want to say about this what do they want to say what do they want to to do the spiral dancer circuitous route perception so they want to go about this the right way i feel like instead of um yeah, there's a certain way they need to do this. So I feel like they they know they need to take a step back. They need to... Oh, there's another one on the ground. They know they need to take a step back right now and really gather their energy right now um, and so that they can transform. They've got to use their intuition and, and, and patience in knowing how to come forward to you. They need to find that perception right now, which is the sort of truth reversed. Queen of Swords is the sort of truth. It's reversed, so there's no clarity at this time so that's what they're going to do they're going to try and gain their energy back again and they're going to try and tune in like use their intuition because they haven't been emotionally in tune so we're going to they're going to try and do that let's see what they want to say trust fate but what's that it does want to come out doesn't it I lost faith and got impatient. Oh my God, that's so interesting. This person lost faith, got impatient, maybe even with themselves. 
um, or if if you are guys, if you guys are in another connection that could very well resonate. Um, trust fate. Trust fate that we're meant to be together. I would still go back. So they want to, they would go back to you. What does that mean? Stubborn. Dot 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 dot. They have been very stubborn. And lessons, I didn't know what I had until you were gone. Lesson learned. Yep. Oh, absolutely. You might have put your foot down and walked away because you just didn't want to deal. You didn't want to be second best. That's what I'm hearing. You didn't want to be second best to anything, to another person, to their career, to their friends. And they didn't, they didn't, um... Yeah, wisdom and creative spark. I didn't really ask a question on those, but I will. Okay, so um, what can this person, what will this person, um, well, coming into this energy, how will they make it right? What's going on with that? Generosity. They're going to come forward. They might even want to come forward and give you something as a gift. Um because they might be not good with words, so they might come forward with a gift instead. Yeah. Uh, so playful and forgiving and learning. Absolutely. This has been very heavy on their heart. Um, they've had a lot of lessons to learn. And as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments because we could see that they want to work this out with you. They want a peace treaty with you. Um, they don't want to give the arguments or the tension or the conflict any more energy right now. They want to come into a playful, light energy with you. Um, they miss that with you where you're flirting and, and having lots of fun together and just there was no burdens and it was like the outside issues or external issues or even internal issues individually were just not there both of you were just happy and felt safe and and good in each other's arms they want to go back into that again um all right what else can i get here get a love message I can never say it, but I do love you. Oh, my God. I felt like I wanted to cry just then, guys, because this is serious. Like, this person cannot say it. They can't say it. It's it's almost like they go to and then they just, cr like, freak out and just close off. Um, and that's not to say that they may have said it to you, but it's, I don't know, there's something about opening up to you and sharing their deep emotions just freaks them out right now. They'd rather show, like shower you with a gift or something or help you in a practical way. I want to create with you. Oh, I want to create with you. I wonder if that's like a family, a business, uh, songs, music. Could be anything. I am electrified by you. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's a lot of passion. And I cannot handle any more heartbreak. Oh, yeah. They're not in a good place with that. So I'm just going to grab one more, I think, one more card. Well, they want to come out, don't they? Oh, look at this. This person wants to unlock your heart with their key and they want to travel with you. That's what this looks like. They want to travel either towards you or they want to um, travel with you. That's what it looks like to me. And it's like this urgency to come forward to you. That's what it feels like here. Um, you might even be overseas for, with it from each other as well. Okay, guys, that is your reading. I hope that's resonated with you. Please comment below and like and subscribe. Um, and if not, choose, to, choose another pile. And I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. Hi, lovelies, and welcome if you chose reading number three, which is the Crystal Vision. Welcome to all of you guys. I hope you're all doing really well. We're going to look at this beautiful crystal vision deck as to what's going on with your person, what is in their heart space right now, what divine confession do they have for you tonight or today. Okay, reading number three, spirit. Reading number three, spirit, please tell us what, um, please show us what current energy is this person sitting in right now, please. What current energy are they sitting in? 
Okay. Okay, let's see. We've got the King of Swords reversed. And to me, he's the Aquarian. And we've got the Sun, which is the Leo. It doesn't have to be those specific signs. If your person's not this star sign, it doesn't matter, guys. It's just the energy I read from. The King of Swords to me is the King of... Um, what is he? The King of Power and Vision. He's also the King of Truth. Yeah, I see him as somebody who really can oversee the bigger picture. Um, well, the power and vision is usually the ones I feel, but still, that's what word came through for this one. Um, I feel like they can pierce through the veil of illusion. Yeah. Um, there's a sense of um, confusion with your person. They can't see the light. They can't see the light. Even though the sun reverse doesn't necessarily mean it's absolutely negative, I just feel like your person's not able to right now um, remain organized in their life. They're not seeing clearly. They're not seeing the bigger picture. They're not feeling very wise right now. They don't have that wisdom. I just want to see what they want to say. There could be some... It's almost like a cloud, a dark cloud has come over them right now. Uh, they thought they knew what was going on in this connection or where they were meant to stand in this. And now they're confused more than ever. What do they want to say to you? To person number three. Oh, hang on. Way too many there. I let others, other people get in the way. Okay, so this could be interference, um, external interference. They allowed others to get in the way. It could have been people getting into their ear. Could have been a third party connection or um, like family even. It could, it could be anything in that way, but they're allowing other people to get in the way. And I, I, it wasn't the same for me. It's over. Okay, so they're putting the light out on this right now. This is their current energy, guys, don't forget. Um, I know it might trigger some of you hearing this stuff, but we've got to understand that one, when somebody's in a shadow energy, which this sounds like they pretty much are in a shadow side, we all have it. We all have a, a, a light and shadow side. And when we're in our shadow side, we're not going to come forward with lovey-dovey, affectionate kind of things. And in this person's mind right now, they're feeling like they have failed. Um, the King of Swords is someone who's very uh, in tune with their environment. They know exactly what they need to do. They stick to order and routine. There's structure. And this person allowed other people to get in the way um, of this connection, it feels. So as I said, whether it be, it could be a, a past person. It could be like an ex. It could be... Um, Someone who's in their life that's a big influence or manipulates them or whatever it might be, but they're seeing that it's over at the moment. It wasn't the same for them. That's their energy. What's their shadow self? Where's this coming from? Our spirit, please. Where is this coming from? Um, this. Oh, my God, guys. Brainwashed. Did I just say they were influenced by someone else? That's just bizarre, but it seems to me like they've got it in their head that it's over. It's never going to be the same. Um, maybe you were just, uh, you know, what you were feeling and thinking was definitely not what they were thinking and feeling. They're trying to defend themselves like self-protect. It's a self-protection going on here. Uh, let's see. What do they really want to say underneath all of that? Um, I worry about what you're telling others about me. And the silence is deafening me. Okay. So there's there's no contact situation, it seems, going on here. All right. So we want to see what's going on with their shadow side. What do they want to say in this space, please? Other pe Oh, my God, guys. <laughs> Other people are affecting our connection. This is just... Seriously... I just cannot believe it when these cards come out like this. I mean, look how many they are. there are there. And not one of these other cards say this exact thing. This is so real. I let other people get in the way. Other people are affecting the connection. Oh, my God. 
All right, we want to see, we want to see. Uh, yeah, what else do they want to say with this, please? Whoop, here we go. Pressure. I have so much going on in my life and I'm struggling to juggle it all at once. They have so much pressure in their environment right now. There could be another person or family that are causing uh, issues in this um, in this relationship connection right here. There might be a lot of stuff, responsibilities they've got to undergo right now, but there's a lot of stuff going on where they're just shutting down now. So how are they really feeling about you? We want to see this. How are they feeling about you right now? We can see that this is the energy they're currently sitting in. But how are they feeling towards you? Got the world reversed. And we've got the nine of cups reversed. Oh, hang on a minute. Just one more, please. One more. And we've got the two of two of wands. Jeez, I can't talk tonight. Okay. <laughs> the world is reversed, okay? And this one usually represents success. It's completion um, of the journey. But I feel like your person's not feeling successful. Once again, they feel they failed. They feel like you are their world, but their world has also been turned upside down by this connection, by this other person or other people, perhaps. Um, they're feeling that they haven't had this closure, with you, the, the cycle hasn't um, been completed with you, basically. The Nine of Cups reversed is gratitude, it's satisfaction, it's feeling joyous and every day is Valentine's Day type of feeling. And this person's not feeling that. You know, they're feeling like their cups have been all turned upside down. They feel like they've done this to you as well. That whatever's happened here, this was all a dream. It wasn't real. You know, what they say here is it wasn't the same for me. It's like they're trying to talk themselves into it, that they didn't have feelings. It was all a daydream and what you were imagining it, you know, and um, or that they were imagining it, that it was love and all this stuff. But it's, it's the dreams have turned upside down. Two of Wands is having to plan um, and, well, what they want to do is is they want to embark on this journey with you. They It's almost like... Being this, this king of swords reversed right here, someone who's very much has, they stick to a routine, they know what they want, they stick to that plan. And this person is not being, is not able to, they're not in a position to make it right. You know, this is where I think it's really frustrating them and where they feel so bad that they failed because they, they need to make things right. They need to plan carefully. Um, and it might've been impulsive between the two of you. It might have not even been able to really get started off the ground, you know, this this connection. It might have been at a point where you were starting to get really close and have a strong bond and you might have been about to move to a next level uh, when something happened. Okay, let's see what their shadow side wants to say with this. I mean, what shadow... I don't know why I grabbed these. What shadow side are they in with this, please? Well, there's betrayal here. Now, either they betrayed you or they feel betrayed. They, they might feel betrayed because the other people getting involved in the connection could have been on your side. You know, that could be it too. Um, humiliation. So they felt humiliated. Um, yeah. All right, let's see what else is to do, to do with What are they feeling for you? What's going on with this? Procrastination. It's really strange, you know, because I feel like this person blames you for something that's happened here, but at the same time they blame themselves and they can't face, face up to their own mistakes. Instead, they'll just withdraw. But the silence is deafening them, so maybe you've gone cold and you've gone silent and closed this off as well because of other people getting involved um, but they feel betrayed or humiliated or they are very um, you know I get it that you felt that way though this is hard it could be because I'm reading for so many people it could be either way you're going to know which is what for you um, because I get it on both sides maybe it was like a flip like a flip 
reversal thing where they felt this and then you felt this. So there's a feeling of they feel like um, they know they're taking their time in coming to you and perhaps apologizing. What do they want to say? Oh. I can't get you out of my head and it's driving me insane. I fear you have forgotten me. I don't want you moving on without me. And I feel sad when I look at your photos. Yeah, I mean, they, they are really sad. But they're not coming forward for whatever reason. Maybe you did shut them out. Play. I just want to have fun with you. So they're sick of the silence and the tension. They're sick of the heaviness that they have to carry. They just want to come back together and have fun with you and, and take off where you were, you know, when you were having fun. I know the clock is ticking for us. Won't you wait for me? So they really are afraid that you're going to move forward away from them. It's like, you know, I feel like they're kind of like trapped in their situation it might be their own self-limiting beliefs maybe they're trapping themselves in or there is like responsibilities like family or even if they are they could be married they could be with someone else that they just feel like they can't be with you oh look at this soulmate they know that you're soulmates so it says he falls back into her nesting his head against her she is his peace as he rests against her she leans down and cradles her cheek into his mirroring um, into his, sorry, mirroring each other. They are one, two holes that merge to create one, a whole. This is your person. With them you feel whole, complete, and your love runs so deep between the both of you. So you know what this is saying here? This is this card right here. Your person feels incomplete without you. That's what's going on. He, he feels like with procrastination that time is just going too slow and... There's a feeling that maybe he's, he or she, I should say, is feeling betrayed, um, is feeling betrayed or humiliated, maybe because of the way you had dealt with this. You might have shut them straight out um, because you weren't going to put up with that. All right. Um, but there's a real sadness between the two of you here. How are they going to make it right? How are they going to make it right? got the ten of cups and the queen of pentacles reversed i just want to get it i just wanted to get a message actually on these ones here what does your person want to say thank you okay be true to yourself you are perfect to me so they recognize that you it's like they're not blaming you actually it's like they realize that they really stuffed up on some, some parts of this here, but they really miss you. Uh, they might be thanking you for the lessons as well. Make, like saying thank you for putting up your boundaries. So you've got to be true to yourself. And appreciate all you've done for me. And I wanted it to be you. Ooh, okay. Sounds like there could be someone else. Um, but either way, they wanted it to be you. They wanted you to be the one in their life. Um, what they're going to do, the Ten of Cups is that happy bliss. It's the blissful marriage, basically, the blissful union. Um, and to see a family here and we see the Queen of Pentacles and she's the businesswoman. She's the queen of abundance and luxury. Um, someone who's very strong and secure in their path. Someone who's a homemaker, but also able to go out and work a full-time job i feel like this person i just want to get another one on that one please um page of wands yeah absolutely exciting energy they want a fresh start with you so they want to basically um they're going to make some things right in their family there might be a significant person in their life who is um, as I said, it could be a karmic partner, someone who's in their life might have a family or children with them. It feels to me like they want to let that go. And that's only going to resonate with some of you. Okay. Some of you, it's going to be that, that they are leaving, um, past influences, past karmic ties. They're cutting that off and it doesn't have to be someone they're necessarily with right now. It can be in their mind because you can see they're brainwashed and they've got this influence in other people. It could be past stuff that is unresolved within them. They might still be feeling um, 
like triggered when it comes to commitment and moving into a connection that's deep and beautiful because they're afraid it's going to end up like it did in the past where someone pained or hurt them. So it could just be that as well, guys. It doesn't have to necessarily be um, a person that's in their life currently, but for some of you that will resonate. Um, could also be um, like a, a motherly figure in their life as well, someone who might be uh, a little bit domineering. And I feel like they could be using things against them right now too. So that's going to only resonate with some of you. This person also wants to get on their feet uh, financially. I'm not going anywhere. So they want to make sure that you know that they're not going anywhere. They don't want you going anywhere <laughs> and they're not going anywhere. Okay, so it doesn't matter anymore. Okay, so let's have a look. We're about to run out of time, but what I want to see here is, what do we got? Milestone. Yeah, they're going to really start working on themselves. They're really going to start cutting something out of their life, it looks like. They're going to try and get on their feet. And discernment, clear vision, details, the ringmaster of scrutiny. They're going to start using their discernment, which is what the King of Swords is about, is discernment. Um, so they're going to start seeing things for how they really are, not under an illusion. And they're looking at their patterns, their past patterns. Once again, that karmic stuff I'm, I'm talking about here, they're going to, I feel like they feel trapped in karmic stuff. There's old patterns or ties or someone connected to them that they just need to break free from. And that's either physically or just in their mind. Um, oops. Yeah, look, they want to give this relationship another chance. They want to work on the partnership with you. And I did it for you. So they want to let you know that when they do work on themselves, they're doing it for you. I don't want to hold you back, but they're scared too that, you know, they're worried that their issues are going to hold you back. But they don't want to hold you back. They don't want you moving on either. The way I acted had nothing to do with you. I'm ready to take a leap of faith and risk it all for you and unrequited. I'm not sure if we both feel the same way about each other. They're worried that you don't feel the same. I'm telling you the truth. You can trust my words. Listen and forbidden. Even though we shouldn't, I still want you. It does definitely sound like um, there's a bar uh, like some. Sorry guys, my phone cut out, So, but that's okay, I know what um, train of thought I was on. So I remember this, even though we shouldn't, I still want you. So it kind of tells me that maybe there is this other connection that we're talking about. Maybe one of you are in another connection. Um, but either way, this person feels like they, for whatever reason, can't be with you. Um, I do want to get one more. funny how they do this I don't know where they go where did it go oh my goodness me okay hang on there it is codependency I need you yeah I mean they really do want you they really want to be with you but for whatever reason can't come forward right now and I wish I could tell you how I truly feel but these feelings I have for you scare me So, what energy are they coming into? Earth. They're going to connect with Earth, Mother Nature. They might get out and do some gardening. It feels like they really need to ground their energy, so they're probably going to ground themselves in that place of stillness right now. So that's good. Um, yeah, I, th I really feel like they need to get in touch with their... Uh, inner feelings right now. There's a lot of confusion going on for them. Oh. There are so many good memories to relish. So they're really confused. They're in conflict. They are feeling a bit conflicted, but there is this um, need to be with you and, and they need to know that you're not moving on without them as well. That's what it feels like here. Do I need to pick anything else, Spirit? No, I think the last one I need to do 
is these beautiful messages here. I have no words for your kindness and generosity. I would just hurt you more right now. I need to be alone. Yeah, once again, they're in that stillness, that place of solitude, withdrawing. Um, can you handle all my scars? Yeah. They've gone through um, a bit of a battle, that's for sure. Someone's done a number on them in the past. Give me more time. I am not good enough for you yet. And I wasn't looking for this. I don't know how to deal with this. Absolutely. They've got no idea. But guys, this is how it is right now. I'm just going to do one more. What else do we need to know? So they want to come in, though. What's this not focusing? Um, they want to come in. So this is the person who comes in. They're on their way to you. They have a message to share. Um, yeah, let's have a look at that for a moment. They, they definitely want to come riding in and seeing you. They might even be on a horse. <laughs> you know, they might like horses. Um, wow, hang on. Yeah, they want to travel to you. They definitely want to come forward to you. This is someone who could be overseas from you or a fair distance away. It doesn't have to be, but it definitely shows me that they want to come forward to you. Um, that's what this is showing me right here. So I do feel like I need to get a light message just quickly. Oh, if I want fell on the floor again. They always do that. Okay. What's the lights like from their higher self? What do they want to say to you? Because they're really in a dark place right now. But what does their higher self want to say? Okay, so your light helps me navigate through the darkness towards you. I just said they're in a dark place, guys. My God, I just cannot get over how these all just fall into place, these messages. Like they are in a dark place. They're sad about you. They're thinking of you. They feel for some reason they can't get in, get in touch with you or be with you as much as they want to. It's like forbidden love. Um, yeah. Yeah. But it says, I love how close we are in body, mind, heart, and soul. So they really miss that with you. They really miss it, guys. So, oh, my God, I'm still going, spirit. <laughs> I'm getting told, like, I'm wrapping it up, and then I'm like, no, you've got to choose another one. <laughs> okay, what, what does this uh, number three person need to know, please? What does your person want to say? You were everything I needed and wanted. They definitely want you to know this. Okay, this is really, um, for some reason, very important that you know this. Because you might have felt quite abandoned by this person, um, by their actions. Okay, so you were everything I needed and wanted. That is a beautiful last message, guys. So that is your reading. I hope it's resonated with you. Please comment, like and subscribe if it has. Um, I love hearing your stories, guys, and I do try to um, reply to everybody. If it hasn't, please choose another pile or come back next time. Love and blessings.